uh hi guys welcome back to my channel um on today's video i am just going to show you um the tour of our lovely uh garden uh for this year 2022 and uh, i hope you are going to enjoy it um i hadn't planned to show you around but uh since today is a sunday it's going to be one of the hostest in the uk i just decided to wake up nice and early in the morning uh before the kids wake up and uh, we start our usual activities uh to just show you around our lovely english garden and yeah the person to give credit to the overall look of this garden is my husband who you can see on the video and he has really uh, done well he really loves his gardening and uh, yeah we as a family we have learned to really enjoy our summer months as everything is always nicely done this year unlike the other years uh, my husband hasn't actually uh, put in any more plants because we were out um, we had gone to Kenya for a family uh, visit so in uh, we weren't able to uh, put in more plants um, unlike the other years but so far whatever has been uh, growing previously the perennial uh, uh, plants those ones they've actually really done well this year despite uh, the shortage of time and actually it hasn't actually rained really well this year so much of the gardening has been done through um, rather uh, watering the plants uh, each day Uh, in the middle of that circle there is this uh, one day lily uh, they open uh, a nice big uh, flower 
and uh, it just is open for a day and then it falls off and then the next one uh, opens uh, the following uh, time so it's a very uh, interesting kind of plant and the lilies they are really nice and bright and uh, we have a few colors in there we have white we have pink and we also have a yellow and yeah as you can see my husband has hoisted both our flags so he has hoisted the Kenyan flag uh, to represent my country and he has also hoisted a Polish flag to represent his country and our union uh, even though we live in the UK I think that's a little bit uh, of just having fun uh, at our own backyard and uh, why not Uh, so this is one of the projects that my husband uh, has done this year. He made that wooden structure and uh, did the uh, put the flowers in this planter. This actually green uh, planter was not originally a planter. He just converted it into one. It was actually one which used to sow the grass. So guys it doesn't matter you can always look for things that uh, are around the garden or the, the house uh, as recycling materials which you can reuse in repurpose instead of actually uh, throwing them in the dumps uh, and that way my husband has actually re recreated this garden with most of the materials that are in the garden be it the fencing, be it uh, the decking, with all materials which could have actually ended up in the dump. Uh, from his workplace, he got all the materials which are used, uh, rejects, and rather than them throwing them out, they give them to their employees. And that way, he has done a lot of recycling, upgrading our garden, using things which he didn't need to actually spend so much money on. So guys, uh, if you're looking for ways to revamp your garden, use upgraded material which you can use. Uh, so yeah, time uh, for us as a family is important to be spent together. And that uh, involves just being out in the garden, having um, outdoor games, uh, reading a book, lying on the launcher and enjoying the summer uh, sun and the lazy days and having a barbecue and uh, having friends over um, yeah and uh, if you have a lovely garden where you can be able to exercise and enjoy all those fine things of life uh, why not so I really as as uh, a family we really do appreciate the fact that we have a small piece of of outside space that we can actually go out relax forget about the electronics and uh, yeah be together and uh, enjoy those uh, family moments and uh, that's why for me I think it's important to keep doing what I am doing uh, this part of uh, of the garden is the side walk uh, garden uh, there is a hedge which is dividing the main garden at the back from uh, the side garden and then we also do have a front garden which I will not be showing you but this side garden is the project a DIY project that we did last year on a on a budget if you want to see uh, the video that I did last year you can actually have a look so that you see uh, how we managed to do this project. It was a very inexp inexpensive uh, garden uh, makeover project. And as you can see, 
a year on, it has it's still uh, as good as we did it last year. And you can see the plants are still doing well. And uh, where there is that uh, cover, uh, my husband just put a new plant recently and is also meant to grow into a bigger bush. My husband also did a little bit of a, a DIY project on the fencing. So he has raised the fencing, which is just uh, a little bit over um, a meter, in uh, over less than half a meter to make it at least a meter. And that way, uh, they as, this allows the wild crawling plants to grow over and actually have a nice covering of green fencing, which is good because it actually does produce some little white flowers. So as you can see, the project from last year is still doing well. Uh, this uh, plants on the side, uh, they will be actually growing even bigger over uh, the autumn. This is the project that I, um, I was telling you about that my husband did uh, this year. I did a little bit of height and the wild crawlers are uh, covering that space, which is actually uh, making it almost like an accent fencing. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do remember you can uh, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, share with your friends and also uh, leave a comment and let me know how you enjoyed this video. So I do hope to see you in the next one. Bye.